What's up guys, Barry Gaming, back with a new game called Infinite Magic Raid. Now we're going to be maining this on our channel here on Barry Gaming 2. If you are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're going to have a lot of tips, info, uh, hero reviews, funny stuff, all just random stuff. Everything to do with Infinite Magic Raid. And uh, I want to share this game with you today. So starting off, we're going to go over a general ultimate beginner's guide. We're going to go over all the different game modes so you guys have a little bit of a basis and knowledge for each one of them. So let's get going. So as you may or may not know, this is a turn-based gacha game. And what would any gacha game be without an interesting summoning pool? So right here, dead center of your screen here, you're going to see the wish. Wishing fountain, wishing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so there are four different types of wishing in the game right now. You have your refined wishes. These are going to be wishes that are very basic. These ones here, you can actually jump up here and take a look at the chart. Uh, for refined wishes, the chances of getting four star heroes is very low but again in this game you're not too distressed about getting one two and three star heroes because they can be assembled all the way up to a five star the next one on the list is the excellent wish this is going to be the first wish where you can actually gain legend style heroes again very low chance but uh there is a pity timer on that if you come on over here you can see exactly what it is i believe it's around 200 wishes to get the guaranteed hero uh, if we scroll down even further, you see the Supreme Wish down here. This one is only going to be giving you uh, four and five star heroes, the Epic and the Legend heroes. Again, it has a separate pity timer that is much lower than the rest, but acquiring these special ones right here, these Supreme Runes, is pretty difficult. They're, you can't just like get them immediately, of course. Um, it's a slow grind. I think I've gone through like... 30 of these completely free to play i've been playing for about two weeks now to get a good hold on the beginning of the game and then lastly you have the miracle wish now the miracle wish is a more i wouldn't say more premium supreme wish feels better but miracle wish is a special one that is tied directly to an event and of course you have a completely different one up here the miracle runes you have a decent amount of chance to buy them throughout the weeks uh, it does have its own separate pity timer i would highly suggest you wait until you can actually complete an event to use any of these in the early game you might be like hey i just want to summon and try to get as many heroes as possible uh, it might not be the best idea you might want to hold on and wait and acquire more of these uh these again i believe they're very similar to the yeah they, they you can get the three star shards in the miracle wish uh but you have a very high chance of getting specific heroes depending on the miracle wish event Next up, we're going to talk about some of the basics that you guys are going to see. You notice this big old chest of gems and gold down the corner. This is going to be your auto drop loot that you acquire over time. Uh, it kind of tells you what your chances of getting specific things are. You can, uh, you know, equipment star level or lower, you can have it automatically sell them. So if you don't want to have to manually do it, you do get one, two and three star heroes while you are AFK. You get gear, you get a bunch of stuff. You want to claim this and this is how you're going to get rewards and your xp for your actual overall account level not your character levels but your overall levels there's also a quick auto drop button that you can hit two times a day i believe yeah two extra attempts each one costing 20 uh i've hit it a couple times here and there it does feel worthwhile in the first couple days in my opinion overall it is probably not as necessary but that is what you're going to do and then on tied to that is your quest system now of course there are daily quests to, to accomplish every day i will say the overall like daily task grind isn't that bad because there is a fully auto battle feature in this game uh you can get chests that get you all the way up to getting a excellent rune every day there are advanced quests that are things that happen over the course of time that give you uh guild activeness points which we'll talk about here next your collection quest gives you more resources you can get some of those supreme runes and advanced skill scrolls for your legend heroes and so on and so forth some of these can give you cool little avatar frames 
Uh, and of course, yeah, you can get more and more rewards leading up to player avatars, more player frames, all that fun stuff. There's a secondary system called the battle order system. This one is tied to a card if you wish to purchase it for additional progress. Uh, this one here doesn't unlock for quite a while, so you won't see this right off the bat. You'll see the icon. You won't be able to go into it. We won't touch too much on that one right there. But talking about the guild, joining a guild is very important in this one. I just made one for myself just so I could show you some of the stuff here the main part is right here above my head activeness this right here based on your activities are going to give you summons it's going to give you skill scrolls it's going to give you diamonds a lot of different things make sure you join a guild is going to be very important the market is the next important place to go to because there are some pretty cool deals there are things such as dragon eggs these are substitutes for actual hero copies so if you need a three-star hero to fuse up to a four-star well the three-star egg can be pretty good i typically buy any eggs i see in the store we'll have an actual currency store breakdown in the future uh, you can get three-star heroes, two-star heroes, one-star heroes, those basic summons. Uh, you can get potions gear. I would stay away from most of these things, the gear mainly. Uh, I, I typically just get all the hero copies I can and any type of summoning materials or food. That seems to be the best way to go. And then there is a free refresh every day. After you do the free refresh, there's a couple other things that kind of ramp up in cost. There's an arena store based on your rank. You can get more and better rewards, but of course you need those resources. And there's an event store tied to every event that lets you buy additional summons, food, hero copies, or forging materials a lot of different things to go on the store. We will have a separate video breaking down the store, so stay tuned for that. Now, one thing I wanna talk about after the wishing and all the other places where you can actually acquire these one, two, three, and four star heroes is the crafting section. Now, I highly suggest you don't just quick craft constantly because you're going to want some of these heroes to just be in your bag because you'll notice each one of them are part of a different faction. Well, yeah, you can quick craft them all you want to level them up. The higher the hero, the faster you can get higher heroes and more food. You're gonna need five star heroes. A lot of them to level your heroes up but leaving them in these one and two star forms is not the worst thing in the world because the daily kind of quest tavern quest type thing is called dispatch in this game so dispatching heroes is going to get you more rewards but you'll notice each one of them has a certain requirement some of them require a certain star level for it to to kind of unlock the quest other ones are much more advanced, but this is why you want to keep some of those one, two, and three star heroes around because it's going to help you progress this system much faster. Again, we'll have a better deep dive of this kind of event or this daily kind of routine more in depth here in the future, but you are definitely going to want to pay attention to it because as time goes on and you get your level all the way up, you're gonna have fewer of these lower tier quests all the way up to 12. You don't even get one and two star quests anymore and you get more of them. So a lot more free resources works out pretty good. Next up, we're gonna be talking about the PVP. I don't do a ton of it, but it is worthwhile to grind it out. You do get a certain number of classic arena tickets a day. These are kind of important to grind through. I'll show you right here. I'll just do an auto battle real quick, beat it really fast. Uh, to show you the final rewards because that's going to jump into our next section after this so again behind me there's like the times four speed there's the auto battle you'll see one of the rewards we're getting are support talent tomes uh forging hammers are important too we'll talk about that but these support talent tomes you get random tomes for winning battles well these right here pretty important so do your daily task here because when you go over to the talent tree you will notice down where is it? is it class talent yeah your class talent tree this is where you're going to be boosting up your power you use these tomes defense tome attack tome and support tomes to increase the stats of your heroes now these are pretty much flat stats so they're not like gigantic multipliers you have to worry about but they are boosted by other things uh, in the game like gear and such you can also do mark talents which these will go over next after this these you get somewhere else but based on your color the force mark green mark blue mark or red mark you can additionally enhance your heroes and you'll notice on some of these like uh, over here the force mark 
you get a certain number in the first level you can move on to the second level you don't have to max them out you can kind of get percentage bonuses versus flat bonuses and then you'll notice even further there's different ones like crit rate etc so focusing on this section here the talent very very important i did say we would talk about the marks we'll get to that in a second i want to jump over to the sanctuary next because it is another place where you're getting bonuses based on your heroes when you actually get your heroes to awakening levels uh, which doesn't take that much really uh, you get bonuses based on the number of stars they have you can notice here this one gives me 30 versus 200 and it's given us additional resources or additional stats such as attack hp rate hp effective hit all those fun things so those are two places the talent and the sanctuary you really want to focus on the last thing i want to talk about about the talent tree were those force marks if you come down behind me so it's, it's right behind me you can't see it but there's a big old button that says dungeon clicking into that will have a bunch of different things when you first unlock this or get into the dungeons not all of these will be unlocked but in the future you can get more stuff done tower of mark is one of those and this is where you can farm up these marks for the specific group you want to go for there are of course bonus resources down the bottom here depending on how far you go but this is where you're going to farm up the tower of mark in order to get your class talent trees or sorry your mark talent trees leveled up even further jumping back into the dungeon we're going to touch base on each one of these right here behind me is the space temple you can kind of see it right here this one are this one's basically going to be puzzles based on how far you clear in the campaign now these give you some pretty good rewards based on the number of chests you get like this one here gave us like 10 summons right there uh this one i think does the same thing so you get quite a few summons by completing these again these are like those hexagon tile puzzles if you've played afk arena mobile legends adventure heroic expedition any of those they have similar style things these aren't too difficult a couple of them as you get further on are a little tricky but definitely get that done next up is the dwarven ruins some of the events for your week will be tied to some of these so you want to clear them but this is where you're going to be able to get different types of gear class artifacts mark artifacts faction artifacts we'll go into all of those things at a later time because those are completely different than what we're going to go over here uh, and they will unlock as you get higher up awakened heroes guild boss is one of the really important ones to do because not only are you going to get ranking rewards but you're also going to be getting daily activeness rewards too and that is going to give you more summons more energy because again yes this is an energy based game uh so yeah just be aware do your guild boss fights two a day should be pretty fun emblem challenge this one is very interesting uh, emblems are something again we're going to talk about a little bit later because they don't unlock until you get into the awakened levels of your heroes but these are going to be able to upgrade your hero and give them a very customized talent layout uh, for extra bonuses what they do versus different types of enemies if they have shields no shields this is very important this is a very interesting battle because it's only three opponents and only the, or three allies and only the three allies you put in get those bonuses they own they're the only ones that will get these emblems right here you can't use them on other heroes only the ones that you farm them on so just beware of that we have brave trial which is not available right now but if you guys are used to games like this it's like abyssal or no it's not abyssal expedition is it abyssal dungeon i can't remember it's the type of one where you go through about six to ten fights and you can get power-ups you can revive your heroes unlock different things there is an event tied to this too so you can get bonus resources which is cool and then one of the newest things out in the game right now is the dragon cliff this one here can get you even more food based on the ones that you are clearing starts out with three star goes up to four star uh you can do auto battles which is one thing i want to talk about too is you'll notice you have this yellow energy and this purple energy well purple unlocks the multi-battle function that lets you do auto battles so you don't have to sit here and watch it otherwise if you don't have any of those you have to use yellow ones typically when you're grinding stuff like this you're gonna want to have multi-battle energy you do acquire it multiple different ways so don't worry if you don't know where it is right off the bat after that we're going to move on over to the left side of the screen here we have the forge this is where you're going to get different types of ores uh adamant ore, adamant ingots things like that you're going to be able to create your own sets of gear again this is one that we are going to talk about 
in the future because there's a lot to it and I would just save your resources for now and not waste them right off the bat. Uh, next two places are very important. The milestone is going to be where you can get some free diamonds because of some of the spenders in the game. They unlock certain things and you can go over to rewards here and claim whether it's XP potions or diamonds or whatever it is, you can claim a ton of free loot here. So definitely pay attention to this. Make sure you're claiming it for all of these. And then lastly of the buildings right here, we have the temple. This is one that's more for spenders or for people who are playing free to play for a long period of time. As I said, I've been playing for about two weeks. I've gotten about seven of these mythic hero crystals. And you'll notice these heroes each cost 100 down in the bottom corner. We will have a separate tier list for these heroes to you know who to pick from some of them are very good all of them are very strong like they are the best heroes in the game pretty much oh not not all of them but they do what they do very well so this is where you unlock your copies of them uh there's also another research uh resource called mythic conversion stones now these are something again we'll talk about a little bit later on but i believe it lets you convert a copy into another copy in here lucifer is a very good one to go for just so you guys know uh so yeah that's gonna be over here the temple you're rarely gonna use it as a free to play as a spender you might visit it very very often so we've taken care of pretty much all the main island buttons here, all these nice little places. They look really cool. Let's move over to some of the options in the game. You'll notice there's campaign quest button. Again, it's, it's like right here behind me. This is going to give you special rewards based on the chapter that you are through. And you'll notice as you get up through the chapters, some of these are very good, especially things like this that count as a free hero copy, essentially for any of your heroes and ultimately rewarding a hero at the very end as well well this chapter system is amazing definitely follow it and grind it this is your guide to getting rewards sometimes you'll see some bonus reward boxes here you'll see my claim history different things that i've claimed out some of them good some of them not as much your guild boss will be here update compensation for having servers down all that fun stuff can be claimed in the box here uh, if you do hit the home button this is going to be uh this is something a little different you can upload videos and stuff like that you it's something that I think they're going to use more in the future. There is, of course, a chat system in the game. So if it's something you want to deal with or talk about your guild, uh, direct messages, world chat, those are all here. You're pretty much used to it. Right above that is your friend. So this is where you can accept and decline people as well as quick send them energy and summons and they can send them back to you. You can also battle them on your list if you want to fight in some PvP friendly battles, which is cool. And then lastly is the notifications button up here. This tells you everything going on in the game. We've hit the 800,000 pre-registrations, tons of fun stuff. Welcome to the game. There's just all the information you might want to know. And then there's also a notice section. If they do have any notices for you, you'll see it there. If you come to the top left here, you can go up, you can customize your name, you can customize your hero avatar, your hero avatar frame, all this other stuff lets you go in. And of course, settings, if you want to run at a high definition, 60 frames per second, something like that, you can do just that. There is a redeem comb button. There really aren't any right now that I've seen. And then one of the other important things here, right here is going to be the server switch button now. Right now, I believe these are all the beta servers. You're not going to be able to get on these early servers when you start. There's going to be brand new ones for fresh players, so don't worry about that. But that is where you can go, join different servers, have some fun, and uh, really enjoy your time with your friends. Now, down the bottom here, we have a couple other things next to the battle orders and the quest we've previously talked about is the bag. This kind of just has your resources in it. You really don't ever visit the bag, so I'm not going to go too much into detail. Gallery is pretty much like a Pokedex. You unlock frames for the heroes that you've actually summoned, and by getting those, you get additional points that, again, give you some pretty premium rewards down here. You get some of those really supreme runes, you get some miracle runes, some excellent runes, diamonds, food. There's a lot of good stuff, so the more heroes you summon for the better for your overall progress. And then lastly, you get over to your heroes. I'll do a quick little segment here. I'm going to go more in depth over here in the future. You'll notice some of these heroes have a green button over here. You can manually upgrade your heroes with potions or they can get levels through combat and battles. Uh, they do have equipment that you can equip. This is another one that we're going to go into a lot more detail later on. 
You'll start out being able to equip them with four pieces of gear. Then you will get their uh, different types of artifacts based on what awakening. I believe it's awakening one, awakening three, and awakening five to unlock the different slots here. Uh, you'll see here the awakening level. I'll go down to like our awakening level one here. It takes five star heroes that you feed off to level them up to two. You get more bonuses, all that fun stuff. Uh, emblem is where we were talking about those special little emblem chapters that you can farm in dungeon can help custom create your tree and you can kind of pick whatever you want to fill out your emblem tree that give you attack bonuses, damage dealt versus damage taken when at full HP damage is increased, all that fun stuff. Again, we'll have separate guides on just about everything we're talking about here. Aura is the newest button. We're not going to talk about that just yet. Skill upgrade ear. This is where you get those skill scrolls from, those yellow and purple ones. Purple are made more for the four-star heroes in the game. Uh, but if you collect 10 of them, you can use them on a legend hero. And of course, the legend ones are for the legends. It upgrades their abilities to do different things. Certain heroes get more bonuses than others. And then lastly, what I want to talk about, the one thing that I love about this game is you only need one hero copy. You just need one of this Oakman to get him all the way up to Awakened 5. I almost said Ascended 5. You might hear me say that quite often. But Awakened 5, this hero is is pretty much maxed but there are some things you can do we already have his skills max we have of course maxed out gear and everything set up on him this exclusive is where multiple duplicate copies do come in handy so overall it does take one of those hero copies or that other material i showed you a little bit earlier to unlock different things with their weapon increases the restoration rate and things like that increase their speed these are all things that duplicates kind of help give out or i'll show you also if i click this button here it'll bring me to the store this is the resource the legend phantom dragon eye that's going to be very useful for spenders overall you don't need them but you can see there are some bonuses to getting that accomplished uh and yeah this is uh pretty much the entirety of your hero list Next up, we're going to move to the bottom right-hand corner on the screen, the world map, because this is the campaign. This is what you're kind of locked behind on so many things. Now, there's multiple difficulties you can see here. We've already already on Nightmare. Uh, some people can get through it very far, depending on what hero they have as their first legend hero, which is part of the reroll guide that we'll have coming out as well. Uh, but yeah, you go through basically the same stages multiple times. Like This is where you start out Sword Harmor but you start out on common. You'll notice we've cleared everything out. We're on nightmare right now and you notice it's the same map. So you just fight the same locations and the same enemies multiple times. Uh, of course, getting certain chapters unlocked depends on where you are in your campaign quest system. In order to finish this, I need to activate an exclusive of a hero, but I only use legend heroes, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, back to the world map, there's another thing you can notice down here is this star bar star bar <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of summons a lot of gear all this fun stuff experience from this bar and that is acquired through the star system on each difficulty each stage you'll notice most of them i've gotten two stars on well you can see when you go into a challenge it tells you the three goals you have to unlock each star one is just simply clear the stage you get a star the other one is clear it with no heroes being killed on your side another star and then clear the stage within 80 turns that is the last star getting stars can be a great way to get some bonuses here if you're looking to get like some of the really nice gear especially once you get up towards here these are legend gears that are already five star gear is very important they give you bonuses but they also just give you raw stats and occasionally you'll see a bonus event uh, like this one right here that actually gives you some bonus resources to buy other resources in the event shop. Last but not least, we're going to talk about that, wait, that far side over there of the screen, these guys. You will see different types of events pop up over here. Uh, this is the one we were just talking about with the shield, uh, shield of Faith. It has things that you can claim daily every day, different things you do. But there's special shops that pop up here and there that let you get some free bonus resources. Again, another one that is active right now is a treasure hunt. If you guys played Idle Heroes, which I feel like a lot of you guys that are playing this one might have played Idle Heroes before, you'll see a lot of similar heroes and similar events in it where you'll notice you get these hammers and you can start going around the Mac breaking pieces trying to find the way to the next zone you can also use some bonuses here to do some uh, crushing attacks if you want to so like this one here we can use it right there it can kind of break some extra pieces for you you're looking for the exit of this map 
There we go. We found the final treasure. Uh, it can clear out the rest of the tiles if you want. So there's going to be some bonus events that we'll have guides for in the future. Uh, right now, I'm not really paying attention to them too much. Actually, can't do that one just yet. We can do that. Do that. Clear some pieces out. So you know what I'm getting. You get some bonus resources. You have a bar down the bottom. You also get some ranking rewards as well. So everything on the right hand side over here are going to be your events. You can regress heroes. And then if you hit this button up here, this shows you every single event that is currently going on. Every single event that has just ended and you can claim rewards from. And then it tells you starting soon and how many days the next events are coming. So you can plan ahead. There's also a pretty cool calendar that you can kind of see what is happening when and you can kind of go back and forth to see exactly when events end and when events start and as well as when they previously ended so the calendar is really cool last but not least we're gonna hit this plus button up here because this is the shop we're gonna have a separate guide telling you what's actually worthwhile in the shop the value packs are the ones that pop up based on what you are doing or as you see here these are the hammers for the event that we were just doing that are very much like um which we call it sky labyrinth and idle heroes uh there's tons of different packs you can get flash packs are the ones that pop up based on your progression there's tons of different ones there's a subscription to get you more resources there's weekly cards there's the resource shop that you can then spend your diamonds on a bunch of different things in here between summons skill cards resources there is the diamond shop to just straight up purchase diamonds if you want to top up and then there's the growth fund which is usually a pretty good one because not only do you get these top for free you're getting the vip rewards which means a lot of food and a lot of summons especially especially the supreme rune so there's a lot of good stuff here a lot of good stuff Whew, that took a while hopefully that helped you guys understand the basics of the game if you have any questions definitely leave a comment down below and if you appreciate it and enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button we have giveaways i think in the description we have a 15,000 subscriber giveaway spot down there so hit that subscription i think we're i think we're only like a thousand away from that you guys could have a chance to win a hundred dollar gift card for the game of your choice uh and yeah we're gonna have hopefully a lot of guys coming your ways and a lot of event previews news for uh uh, infinite magic raid tons of different stuff so hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys next time